There's an iced tea that's been popular in Egypt since the time of the pharaohs, and tea vendors to this day meander through busy streets in Egypt, selling that very same tea. This hibiscus tea called Kedkeda is not only fragrant and delicious, but it's known to be a medicinal elixir. The vendor's clanging symbols excite the passers-by like an ice cream truck in the West. And now you too can learn how to make it, right here on Feast in the Middle East. me Blanche and welcome back to the Feast in the Middle East and I have a confession to make I am a sour junkie I don't know if it's my culture but I like lemon in everything and I love a million different ways to make lemonade and why not make pink lemonade with a surprising flavor like hibiscus now for those of you that don't know too much about hibiscus hibiscus has a beautiful fragrant floral scent and a slightly sour flavor uh, that goes very well with lemons. It is known to be high in antioxidants and it is touted for also being an appetite suppressant. I'll show you how easy it is to make right now. First, let's start with the hibiscus flowers. I just ordered these dried flowers online and they are from Egypt. The fragrance is so sweet and floral. I just wanted to stick my head in the bag all day for aromatherapy. But I digress. To get the maximum flavor out of these flowers, you need a good quality tea kettle. My personal favorite is the By Dean Tea Maker, which has five cooking modes and four tea options. Each temperature brings out the flavor of your favorite tea blend. Since I'm using an herbal tea, I should use the 205 degree option, but I might just boil it to the max because I like my tea super hot. There are different temperatures for oolong, white, or green tea as well. Now the tea maker comes with a removable stainless steel infuser with a handle so it's easy to take out without burning yourself. And I'm gonna fill the infuser with the hibiscus flower. You can also use hibiscus tea bags. Then all you have to do is fill up the kettle up to 75% full, press the button, and you're good to go. I'm gonna let this boil while I get the other ingredients ready. The ingredients are so simple. I'm just going to start with three lemons, which I'm slicing in half and juicing. I would say about a half a cup of lemon juice is ideal or more if you like it extra sour. As you can see, I added it to the pitcher and now I'm going to add a tablespoon of orange blossom water, which will add a beautiful fragrance. Traditionally in Egypt, they use honey to sweeten the lemonade and I'm just using a small amount, a scant quarter cup, but if you want it sugar-free, you can add stevia drops, which I highly recommend. What's also great about this tea kettle is the keep warm feature is timed for one full hour, so it automatically shuts off, but it keeps it warm so it could be ready to use. Now all we have to do is add the tea to the lemon juice mixture, and if you prefer your tea hot, go for it, but we're going to create an iced hibiscus tea. Make sure whatever sweetener you use is dissolved in the hot tea and then add ice. Now this is where you could use your creativity. I love to use fresh mint along with a mixture of berries from blueberries to strawberries to raspberries. Make it your own and enjoy it with some extra lemons if you wish. I like to think of it as a non-alcoholic sangria. We've been experiencing a serious heat wave here in California the entire week. It's 100 degrees, so I thought it would be good to surprise my kids and my nephew with some of this lemonade to see their reactions. They actually loved it so much they finished the entire pitcher and even had some slurping competitions. <laughs> wow, it's actually really good. Is it? Mm-hmm. It's Egyptian lemonade, Egyptian hibiscus Here's tea. Oh. There you go. <laughs> For more recipes like this, scroll through my playlist. I made sure to organize the recipe so that it'd be easier to find, depending on whether you need an appetizer, an entree, or a dessert. And of course, you could also get my cookbook at feastinthemiddleeast.com. Now this cookbook contains a lot of the recipes that I shared on my channel, but with very meticulous directions so that you will have success with each recipe every single time. 
To get a double discount on this tea kettle, just click on the link I'm going to provide in the description box as well as the pinned comment below. You could also use promo code T15. Until next time, sahtin, and I'll be back soon.